What's going on, people? Got another one of those questions. Hey, Glendon, who is your customer? I said, all right, that's cool. That's a pretty good question. And I was like, my customer is typically a white male between ages of 25 and 45. White male, I know, right? With all this, this brownness and stuff. But typically, that's who my main customer is. Uh, he is educated, usually has... He's educated formally and informally. Let's just say that he has anywhere from two to six years of formal education and makes between 50 and $75,000 per year. He is married and he wants to desperately carve out his own financial freedom. So that is my typical customer. That's the thing I need to shave. That is uh, typically the guy that I get into my fold. Now, the secondary customer, which I, I need to put more emphasis on, is business customers. And those are typically businesses that are make 250000 a year and are looking to scale. So that's the average customer, and that is the business customer. I know you're like, whoa, whoa, Glennon, I'm one of your customers. I'm part of the G-verse, and I don't even look nothing like that because I'm Asian and Mexican and black and Peruvian or some shit like that. And it's cool, but those are the stats. And the thing is, just like I should, I know my stats, you should know your stats. You should know who's your customer. Now, let's really talk about why is that my customer? It's background. When I was at Renegrate, business environments, to sell the construct, that's who was in the environment. I was the business casual dude, you know, the little button down shirt, khakis, you know, mostly not a tie. If you had a tie, it was very formal or you was trying to go after some like someone bigger, but Typically, that's my customer. Now, who is your customer? Who's your perfect customer? You don't know. Well, that's a problem. You have to know who your customer is in order to sell to them. Other day, I put a video, this channel's for men. Typically, that's who watches this channel. When I started in 2009, and due to the wonderful uh, information that YouTube gives you, I mean, Seriously, if you're a YouTuber and you have not really gone through your dashboard and looked at the analytics, you're doing yourself a disservice because it guides you. At about 2012, because I didn't put that stat up, it was like 32, it was 68, 32, 68% men, 32% uh, women. And it has gone back to, as, you know, as, as of this year, 82% men and 18% women. When I started off, it was 90% men <laughs> and 10% women. And typically, and someone put this in the comment the other day, and I thought it was so cute. I did. I thought it was just adorable. It was so. It was just so stinking cute. I put my. I uh, have. I put you on just to piss off my wife. It's like every woman I try to get to watch this, they just can't stand you, because I'm one of the last traditional males. Well, actually, I'm not traditional. That's not really factual. I'm full of masculinity and testosterone and that type of stuff. And in a society full of beta males, um, for some women, they can't deal with that because it means you can't control me. So typically women, that's not true. Some women can't stand a man they can control. You know, they really can't. Don't know about those women. <clears throat> uh, more on that later. But essentially, you have to know who your customer is. Now, going back to another video that I put up, you know, where you're only doing 33 and a third percent of business by only selling on eBay and Amazon, this would not even come to you because you're looking at what trends was selling well on Amazon, was selling well on eBay. You're not even looking at this stuff. It doesn't even matter to you. And you're missing a huge business opportunity. This is what's about to happen. I was having this wonderful conversation today, and this is where we're going. Jobs are disappearing. If you have not mastered the ability to walk up to a stranger and start a conversation, you're going to be in trouble. Someone posted in Hustle University, my Facebook group, that essentially, and I know this because I have an email list, and people subscribe every day, and a lot of people unsubscribe every day. It's like they come in, and some people go out, and they come in, and some people go out. It's kind of like the club. You can come in. All right, all right, all right. Nah, you got to wait. And essentially, these these things that are so organic to humanity, you're going to have to learn how to do because the relationships you build online are frequently tertiary. The people that I'm closest with online that I speak to frequently, I've actually met in real life, most of them. There's a few who are real cool. We never met, but 90% of them I met. 
And you're going to have to build those relationships with people and learn how to do it. That's why in 30 days to 2500, I've got this thing where you just go out and meet people because a lot of people can't do it. Just can't do it. I want you to ask, ask yourself, have you met 10 new people this month? And I don't want to hear if you're out there in bumfuck Iowa. I don't, I don't really care. I don't care because you, you're like, well, I'm in Iowa and there's only 20,000 of us and I already know 19,000 and other than 1,000, I don't want to know them. I'm not talking to you. Really, I'm not. But meet new people. Create new energy. Do different stuff. And you, you will see improvement in your life. So if you are going to delve into this stuff, and we're going to talk about a lot of this stuff in the Strategic Success Institute, because, you know, I'll just tell you, because someone said, hey, what's going on with Hustle University? Hustle University is going to be short term hustles. It's going to be education, tutorials, uh, quick ways to make money, you know, Craigslist, uh, so a few other things, uh, YouTube, just some other stuff that we're going to work on. So that's going to be Hustlers University. Strategic Success Institute is going to be a different ball game. Totally, 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 totally different. But essentially, in selling, and one of the courses in Hustlers University is going to be how to sell shit. Yes, that's coming back. We're going to talk about that because once you know who, all right, and I, I do a lot of dating analogies because that's the easiest thing that I can get with. And don't be offended because I said you're not a business person and you never owned a business and you don't understand shit about business and you don't know what a fucking spreadsheet is. Because when I say it's like he's just insulting us. He's insulting us. And he's talking bad about us. Yeah, it's true. But I don't want to hear it. So I use the benign dating analogy. Everyone dates or been married or some shit like that, right? Okay, so fellas, you go to the club, right? Typically, this is why you fail. You go in and look for the women who aren't looking for you and completely ignore the women who've already looked at you and said, I will tap that. I ain't paying attention to them. Once you learn how to isolate and define and recognize those women that already made that decision, you will be winning like Charlie Sheen, the winning for real. So that's the same deal with finding your perfect customer. Once you realize that whatever you're selling, whether it's you and your cologne or maybe you've got a dog or something. And the people out there are already predisposed to what you're selling is a much easier and smoother transaction. So that's why you need to know who your customer is and get a handle on that other 66 and a, I guess 66.66% of business versus just the 33 and the third percent of business. Just saying. Once again, this is Glendon. If you like the content, and of course you do, it's going to be there or there. Because, you know, I use different candles. <laughs> so when I, when I process it, the eye may be up here, it may be up here. But there's a little eye icon. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be up here. I could be wrong. Or it may be up here. So I'm pointing. Yeah, that works. That works. Tap that. And you'll like it. It'll feel good. Just tap it. Make a donation and support the channel. Uh, for those of you that didn't know, I am not putting any more ads on this channel the rest of the year. I am experimenting with the donation model, something that I got from Stephen Molyneux and some other people. And I was like, hmm, why not? I'm always telling you to try new stuff. And hey, just like I tell you, I don't, only, I don't only tell you to do it. I actually do it myself. How's that for cool? All right, this is Glendon, and I will see you on the good side.